and I will lead the way. Father, today, would you would you help us to pray? Help us to pray, God, accurate prayers, God, prayers according to your will. And we come into your presence, God, even now with hearts of repentance, and we ask you, God, to forgive us, Lord, for not seeing sooner what the enemy planned for the nation of France, and not just this attack, but the attack last April and the attacks before that, God, forgive us, Lord. We don't want the blood to be on our hands, God. Forgive us, Lord, for not seeing, hearing, saying, and praying enough, deep enough, long enough to stand in the gap and make up the hedge, to build that hedge of protection around this nation that you have a destiny for. God, we lift up the nation of France as we come into your presence, cleansed and made whole, clean from all unrighteousness. We lift up the nation of France, God, and I plead the blood of Jesus over this great nation. I plead the blood of Jesus. I say the blood speaks a better thing for France than the fire of the enemy. And I thank you, Lord, even when you said to me, France on fire, I know that we've seen natural fire, but God, I am believing standing, watching for the fire of revival to sweep over France in the name of Jesus. And I even now in the spirit, I see sparks, 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 sparks all around France, little sparks, little fires, just small communities of believers who have come together to pray. So the Lord would say today that it is prayer that will fuel my will in France. It is prayer that will fuel revival fire in France. For the enemy has come to kill and destroy and to discourage the interceptors of this nation, says the Lord. But I am coming to blow my wind over the ashes of the devastation, and I will bring revival fire, says the Lord, through those who will set themselves on fire for me. I will bring revival fire, and I will bring an awakening through those believers who wake up to my will and who will pray without ceasing, says the Lord, for the movement that I'm bringing there is a movement of prayer unto a movement of awakening, unto a movement of revival and evangelism that sees so pain the great harvest come in, says the Lord. I myself will do this through those whom I have called. And I am calling many of you today under the sound of this broadcast, says the Lord, to join forces with me, to enlist in my intercessory prayer army in Paris, all across France, to see my will done and my kingdom come, says the Lord. So stand and withstand, even when the judgment prophets pronounce doom and gloom and curse your nation. Revoke the curses by force of the authority I've given to you, says the Lord. Stand up and fight for the nation that I've called you to, says the Lord. Don't shrink back now. Don't stop praying now, says God. But pray with more fervency. Pray with fire, fire, fire. And I will fill you again, says the Lord, even as you stand in my presence and cry out to me for the deliverance of a nation, for the rebirth of a nation. I will light you on fire, and I will... Fill you again with my Holy Ghost fire, and you will burn and shine for me, like John the Baptist says, God, making a way for the return of the Lord, making a way for the uprisen church, making a way where there seems to be no way. For I have a remnant, says the Lord, in the nation of France. They are already praying, and they are already fighting, and they are already standing. And the Lord would say today, will you join them? Will you pray around the clock? Will you stop and look and watch what I want to do and then pray it through, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We say yes. We say yes to your will for prayer. We say yes, God, whether we are from there or just called to pray for this nation, God. We say yes to your will today. We say yes to the workings of your spirit today. We say yes, we will enlist. We will run to the battle line and swing the sling and hit every Goliath in the middle of the forehead by the grace of God, empowering us with accurate prophetic words and accurate vision in the spirit. God, would you help us today to stand in with him? Would you fill us again with your spirit, God? Would you send us away for your glory in the name of Jesus? Oh, God, thank you. 
Thank you, I got to stop my spirit leaf. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do. Oh, God, thank you for including us in your great plan for France. Thank you, Lord, for calling us together for such a time as this. Thank you, Lord, for the hinge intercessors that cause doors to open and doors to close. And we close the door to every enemy assignment, every terrorist attack being plotted, planned, and brewed up against France in the name of Jesus. We push back the darkness and we bring in the glory we give you glory god we lift up our gates we lift up our heads so the king of glory can come in Amen. in jesus name we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you in advance for what you're going to do because it's going to be great and it's going to be vast and it's going to be overwhelmingly good because you are a good, good father. And you are the captain, the host. And I ask you, God, to release angels, commission angels to war in the heavens over the principalities and powers that have set a friend on the fire of hell. We thank you, Lord, that hell fire will be exchanged for revival fire. And friends shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. We praise you and we thank you. And we glorify and exalt you over the nation of France. We're so grateful, God, to be part and parcel of the solution. Oh, God, help us, Lord, to pray the solution. Help us, Lord, to decree the solution. Help us, Lord, to stand and be the solution. Part and parcel of your plan. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We thank you. We honor you. We glorify you. We say, let your kingdom come and your will be done on in France as it is in heaven. Oh, thank you, Lord. Sweep over the land with peace. Sweep over the land with joy. Sweep over the land with your spirit. Sweep over the land, God. Would you sweep over the land? Do what only you can do. Pour out your spirit in a great and mighty way. Let signs and wonders arise. Let France become a sign and wonder in Europe that people would see and know that you are moving in the midst of this great nation for your glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I could pray and pray and pray and pray, but you all didn't come just to hear me pray. I want some of you to begin to pray. I'm taking it off mute. Please uh, unmute yourself as you see fit and begin also to join and pray, and I will pray and agree with you as we all will. <laughs> Someone go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, uh, we come before you as your children, and I apply the blood of Jesus to all of us, to all of our loved ones, to all their loved ones, and all their loved ones. I, lay, I raise my hand towards France, Lord Jesus, and I thank you that you promise us Everywhere we, our, the soles of our feet has stepped, you have given us that territory. So I claim every place that every Christian has placed their feet in France for Jesus Christ. I claim this territory for the kingdom of Christ. Lord Jesus, um, I ask that you intercede for us right now, and I bind every demonic force, power, principality, stronghold, dominion, and spirit that is operating there now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you. I bind you, you spirit of apathy. I bind you, you spirit of, of you, you murderous spirit. I bind you, your religious spirits. I bind you, everything that comes against the knowledge and wisdom of our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, by the authority of Jesus Christ that rests in us. Lord, we know that the enemy comes only to kill, steal, and destroy, but you came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. I proclaim life over France, and Lord, I proclaim if there's any in that country that do not know you, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Turn their hearts away from the power of Satan, sin, and death, and turn their hearts towards the power of Jesus Christ, that they may receive a place among those sanctified by faith. Lord, deepen our faith and build our faith by showing us how you've accomplished it in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Someone else pray, Lord. I thank you for a mighty missionary movement that is rising up, Lord God, in the younger generation. Lord, uh, we ask Father God that you would uh, send forth laborers into the harvest field of France, Lord Jesus, that you would send them forth, that you would thrust them, God, that you would uh, stir within them, Lord, uh, to go and to evangelize, Lord Jesus. So we also call people, Lord, uh, that are in France, uh, their own countrymen, Lord God, to be stirred up in your gifts, Lord Jesus, to be uh, stirred up into the fivefold ministry, Lord God. We ask for an awakening, Father, to spread like fire 
through France, Lord Jesus, so that fire, Lord God, would burn night and day, day and night. We ask for houses of prayer to be raised up, Lord Jesus. We ask for uh, 24-7 praise and worship, Lord Jesus, to begin to be, uh, to be uh, lifted up to you, Lord God, in the heavens. Father God, we just declare right now that, that France will be saved, and you are the desire of France, Jesus. We just declare that today, that you are its greatest desire, Lord Jesus. I also just pray for the government right now, Father God, that your anointing would be up on their government, Lord Jesus, that you would bring uh, men and women of wisdom, Lord God, into the government mountain of France, Lord Jesus, and that they would begin to turn toward you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that you were just infiltrating every corner of this country, Lord Jesus, and we ask for a mighty move of your spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Somebody else pray. Father, we have to come together right now in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, the name above every name. And Father, we thank you for what you're doing upon the earth right now. And Father, we just speak over uh, the nation of France, Lord. We say, Lord, that they are your heart, Lord God. Father, we pray that a mighty move of uh, repentance would fall over that nation, Lord God. Father, that you are cleansing and purifying, Lord, uh, your people. And Father, we just speak that over the nation of France, Lord. We say, have your way, Lord Jesus. Every tongue, every tribe, and every nation belongs to you, Lord. So, Father, we just come into agreement, Lord, that you are doing a good thing, a new thing. We say yes and amen. We are with you, Lord. Let our hearts be aligned with your heart, Lord God, and have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Somebody else pray. Father God, right now that no one has an arm like you, Lord, who have power and might. Lord, you have a mighty arm. Your hand is strong and your right hand is high. Stretch out your arm over France and Europe right now and deliver them, oh God, and rid them out of all bondage. Let fear and dread fall upon the enemy by the greatness of your arm until we pass over, Lord. Father, great favor over France, Lord. We even release forgiveness to those who try to harm the great people of France, Father. We thank you, Father God, that they come to their knees to repentance, Lord. And Father, you're quick to forgive them, Lord, as we are, Father. Father, we lift up the body of Christ in France, Lord. We thank you, Father, that every believer, Lord, be covered by your love, Lord, flowing with love, Father God. And I just thank you right now, Lord. Let your hand be established over France. Let your arm strengthen her, Lord. Let your right hand, your holy arm, give her victory, Father. Show me lightning down your arm. Trust you all for this salvation, Lord. Awaken and awaken and put on strength, O arm of God. Awaken the ancient days. You bear your holy arm in the sight of all nations in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Somebody else pray. Father God, I pray that you would come and that you would set the people of France free from the religious spirit. That, uh, that they would see the truth, the truth of your love, the truth of your love that penetrates everything. I pray for your truth to be just raining down into France and bringing forth um, the harvest of souls that are fully on fire for you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody else pray. Father God, we just come into agreement right now, Father. We thank you for all the people, Lord, that are here on this line. We, we bless our apostle, Lord Jesus Christ, for gathering the intercessors together. And Lord, we just stand shield to shield right now in the name of Jesus. We bring up France, Father God, all of Europe, Lord. We bring them to the altar. We present them to you, Father God. Lord, you know their needs. You know, Father God, what they are going through. You know, Father God, that they are under siege. But we rise up, Father God, at this hour. We push back right now, Lord Jesus. We raise up that banner, Lord, and we declare that France is for Jesus. We declare France for God, Lord. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit move through that country, move through the people, Lord Jesus, of that nation, and that they turn their hearts back to you, Father, and that no wicked arm, no wicked hand, nothing, Father God, that the enemy is trying to accomplish in that nation, Father God, shall prosper, because your word tells us, Father God, that the enemy's weapons shall not prosper against the church, and we are raiding the gates of hell, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. The gates of hell shall not prevail against your body. The gates of hell shall not 
not prevail against her church. The gates of hell shall not prevail, Father God, against France, against Europe, against this great nation, Father God, that you are lifting up right now, Father God. We shall shout for glory. We shout for glory, Father God, because you are the glory that is going to manifest in that country, Father God. Everything is in your possession. Everything is in your control, Father. And we just take back everything that the enemy is trying to, to do, to steal, to rob and destroy, Father God. We just blind the enemy right now in Jesus' name, and we just break the hand out of every wicked witch, warlock, and every indictment, Father God, that has been written up against France, its people. Lord, we just cancel them right now in Jesus' name. We say mission aborted because the saints are rising up at this hour. The nations have gathered together on this phone line at this hour, Father God, to push back. And we just push back, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we go ahead and we declare that no arrow, Father God, that comes to France, its people, its ministers, Father God, its prophetic voices, Father God, they shall not prosper, Lord. We break every arrow of the enemy that is sent against his people. We break every arrow of the enemy, Lord, that is trying to go ahead and sabotage what you are trying to do at this hour. You have called your prophets to speak. You have called your people to stand. You have called your apostles to intercede. You have called the sheep to stand together, united. And Father God, that is what we are doing at this hour, at this minute, at this very second. We command, Father God, Satan to loosen his hold over France, over its people. Father God, we release the Jehovah peace of God into that country. You are Jehovah Shalom. So we declare peace, the peace of God in that country, the peace of God in the hearts of the people in the nation, the peace of God over Europe, because God, greater are you who is within us and he who is in this world, Father God, and you gave us all authority, and we take away every dominion, every power that the enemy is trying to go ahead and produce in that country, Father God. We just say mission aborted, because you have placed us here, Father God, and we are your voice here on this earth, and we manifest your will, Father God, on this earth, and we just call forth your right arm, Father God, to crush to smash every opposition that is coming against these people, Father God. We, we bind all fear in this nation. Any stronghold, any principality that is trying to go ahead and take over the minds of this people, trying to confuse them, trying to bring that fear and chaos, Father God. We just bind that right now in the name of Jesus, and we cast it out right now in Jesus' mighty name. And we decree and we declare the liberty for Europe, the liberty of France, the liberty that comes with the gospel of peace, Father God. For where the sun is, there is liberty. And I know your spirit is there, Father God. For you you are everywhere. You are the omniscient. You are the omnipotent. You are the omnipresent. And Father God, we just decree and declare that you are with Europe. You are with France. And we stand, Father God, pushing back against every, every arrow, every weapon, every plan, every everything that the enemy has come against to lay siege against that country. We say no. We say no, not today. And we push back, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you in advance because we decree and declare that it is already done. And you are giving them double for their trouble. And we just thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are bringing that, that, that shalom, that Jehovah shalom, that peace of your spirit into that country. And we release the ruach, Father God, of your spirit into that nation, Father God, that because of what they're doing, Father God, not only are you going to show up, but you're going to show up, and you are giving them double for their trouble. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You guys are awesome. Somebody else pray. <laughs> Anybody else want to pray? Yeah, Jesus, I just want to thank you that you are the King of France. And yeah. you are the light of the world. And you are the truth. And your truth sets free. And we shine the light of Christ now into all the dark areas of France. We shine the light of Christ into all areas of oppression. Every area of humanism. Every lie that's been set up by the enemy. Um, mm -hmm. Every area of Freemasonry area of uh, worshipping of Mary, all oaths and vows that have been made by kings and queens of France, uh, everything that's been done in France to to hide you, Jesus, to attempt to close mm -hmm. you, to close down the truth so that the people don't know. When they say no to you, they don't know who they're saying no to. We shine the light of Christ into France this evening. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you so much that you're coming now. Thank you that you created this beautiful people who were made they were made for your praise. They're a wonderfully creative people, a worshipping people. And mm. we were asked now that you would reveal yourself. And if if there's so much oppression and darkness, Lord, that they can't see, that you would reveal yourself in dreams, that you would step in front of them when they're in the street, that you would meet them with at work, in their homes, that you would you would now you would tear away all the veils and the curtains and the darkness that the enemy has placed to deceive and to hide you, and that you would stand revealed in your glory. Your glory, your fire, your beauty, your holiness would be revealed in France and that they would see you as they've never seen you before. 
as your light shines into all the darkest corners of France, into every part, every every mindset, every stronghold, that they would be broken down by the power of the cross. And your light, we shine the light of Christ into France this night. And we praise you, Lord. We praise you for your plans for France, to bring France as a sheep nation into the fold. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Anybody amen. else would like to pray? Lord, we thank you that the word of the Lord is flawless, Lord, and your plans are perfect. Lord, we know that you do nothing without revealing it to your prophets first, and that's what you did for France, Lord. When you set France on fire to Jennifer, Lord, we thank you for that, Lord God, that intercessors were raised up to pray, and that damage was lessened, Lord, in, in Notre Dame. But, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you also have a multifaceted um plan and purpose for this word like a diamond that's all i can just keep hearing it's like a diamond that's so multifaceted this word and that your meaning for france on fire is is, is like sparkling and this that paris is a city of lights and the, it, it, the whole country is like sparkling before you like a multifaceted diamond and that you are ready to set forth light and send forth pierce just piercing the light and send forth your like a prism, like rainbows shining into the streets of, of France and that people will see the truth because the light is the truth. You are the way, the truth, and the light. And Lord, every man comes to you, Lord, through Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that you're going to have your plans and your purposes, that no one can stop you, Lord. Nothing can stop you. The enemy can't stop you. We can kick in the gates of hell in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is good. Anybody else? Um, Lord God, I'm asking, in your mercy, would you raise up, Lord, people to pray into, Lord, the ungodly spiritual roots associated with the French Revolution. Lord, I'm asking for the removal of every weed from the spiritual garden of France. Lord, I thank you for that revelation of the heart of God um, that you have given to the French people. And, Lord, I'm asking in Jesus' name for the redigging of all of the wells of revival associated with Huguenot. I'm asking you, Lord, for the unity of the true church in France. And, Lord, especially I'm asking you, would you take down, Lord, any division, Lord, between the faithful remnant who are um, who have come to France as immigrants and their children and the native-born French. Lord, I thank you so much for what you are going to do in France. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Well, listen, I want us to keep friends in prayer, and I don't know if we'll do another prayer call in the interim. I do go to uh, England once a month, which takes a pretty good chunk out of my schedule, but I'm going to stay in prayer. I want you all to stay in prayer. I'm looking for connections to launch a house of prayer in France so that I can come and train intercessors there and get on the ground um, with some of them and do some spiritual warfare training, prophetic training, and teach people how to pray and pray with them. While I'm over there in England, clearly it's an easy time to get to France. So I am praying for an open door in France. Um, obviously, my last name is French, <laughs> hint, hint, Jennifer LeClaire. So um, connections there to the land and uh, really uh, have a heart, have always had a heart for that nation since I was a child collecting stamps with a body cast in a hospital bed collecting stamps of France and England and other European countries. So I've been sent by God into Europe for revival and to raise up houses of prayer and praying people. If you want to connect with me, you know how. Go to awakeninghouseofprayer.com or send us an email, and uh, we will connect with you further. Thank you all so much for being on this broadcast, for being part of this call, for being part of the solution. I've got to get that prophetic word transcribed. And uh, hopefully I'll send that out in an email as well. Get the word out and keep praying. I love you guys. Thanks for being on the